Promise. 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 Baby. Promise. Baby. Promise. What is it? We have Look. a problem, we have a problem. What's the, what's the problem? Why are, you, why are you sounding like that? I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. <laughs> why are you laughing? Is, is, is that why you're like this? It's not even something serious. What could be more serious than this? When did you find out? Yesterday. I went to the hospital with Jane to run the test. Um, your parents, do they know? Of course not. They will kill me if they find out. Look, I want you to tell them. I want you to tell them I'm coming to see them. To see them for what? To pay your bride price, of course. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. You want to marry me? Yes, baby. I want to marry you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Oh, baby. I was waiting for you to be done with school so I can propose to you. But since it's already like this, I don't think I'll wait any longer. <laughs> now I can breathe now. <laughs> yes, baby. I love you. I love you too. Oh. You are a very big disgrace, Helen. So this is how you've decided to ruin your life? But I can still continue school. Will you just keep quiet there? Do you think it is that easy? Honey, calm down. Calm down? Please calm down. Calm down for what? Look at what your daughter did. Is it fair? Oh, I understand. I'm in shock too. Even if you decide to shout from now till tomorrow, it still does not change the fact that she is pregnant. But since the man responsible has decided to marry her, then... Look, that was not my original plan for her. I wanted her to make something out of her life before thinking about marriage. I, but look... I know. I know. Uh, Papa. Papa, I am so sorry. I know you're disappointed in me, but I love Promise, and he loves me too. Papa, I want to marry him. As for my studies, I can continue, no matter how difficult it will be. Papa.
Helen. I want you to tell me the truth. Did you do this on purpose? Do what on purpose? Did you get pregnant so that your boyfriend would marry? Can you say that? You know I can never do something like that. As it is, I don't understand what you can and cannot do. Are you sure he's still coming? Yes, he gave me his word. It's almost 5 p.m., my dear, and your father is losing his patience. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've been trying his number. It's not reachable. I, I don't know. He's so, I hope nothing bad has happened to him. Hey, that's another thing. Huh? Why not go to his place and find out if there's a problem while I calm your father down? But that's a good idea. I'll go there now. Promise. 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 Good day. Good day, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Can you recognize me? Of course I do. You used to visit Promise, right? Oh, yes, exactly. Please, have you seen him? I've been trying to reach him. Promise has traveled. What? He left yesterday's night. And from the look of things, I don't think he will be coming back soon. Excuse me. He said he will marry me. He said he is coming to pay my bride price. But where is he now? Where is he, Helen? So you don't have anything to say? Do you know what your mother and I sacrificed to enroll you in one of the best universities in this country. Do you? I am sorry. Uh-huh. What else can you say? If not this. Imagine the embarrassment and humiliation you brought upon our family. Simply because you cannot close your legs. Baba, Baba, please forgive me. I was deceived. I thought you loved me. 
If you think that boy loved you, then you don't know anything about love. <laughs> you broke my heart, Helen. And I don't think I will ever forgive you. Papa, Papa, please, I'm sorry. Papa. I'm finished. I don't know what to do. Okay, okay, please. Right. Let's take okay. her to the hospital, madam. Easy, urgently. Thank you. Hey, it's you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's all like her to stay out this late without informing us. When she was busy getting pregnant, did she tell us? Please, Peter, stop, stop, stop. Don't talk like that. Helen is not the first person to get pregnant out of wedlock. Have you not punished her enough? I have not started punishing her, and you are complaining. I am going to deal with her because of the disgrace she brought on this family. Ah, honey. Please, let go. The mistake has already been done. Will you throw away the child with the batting water? Yes. This particular child will be thrown away. No. My child will not be thrown away. She made a mistake, but does not deserve to be crucified for it. Look, just go and serve my food. I am hungry. I'm not eating anything until Helen comes back. Ah. Is that so? Oh, thank God my hands are still complete. Let me go and help myself in the kitchen. You're welcome. I've not slept well in days. Why? You're pregnant and you need to get all the rest you can. I know. Thank you so much, doctor, for everything. I wonder what would have happened if you weren't around when I slumped. No need to thank me. I was just doing what I love doing. But you're welcome anyways. Mm -hmm. um, I ran some tests on you, so you will need to come to the hospital tomorrow for the results. No problem, doctor. I'll be there tomorrow. Uh, Good night. Good night. Helen, what happened? Where are you coming from? Mama, it's a long story. Oh, oh, please. Oh, I'm willing to listen. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit.
Helen, are you sure that is what you want to do? Yes. I have made up my mind. What do your parents have to say? Do they even know? No. And I don't intend telling them. My father now hates me with passion. And my mother is talking to me because... Well, she's my mother. I'm so sorry. Jane, promise has ruined my life. I thought I was a smart girl. And I let him do this to me. Why? You were in love, Helen. Sometimes love can make us trust the wrong people. If someone had told me, promise we would do this to me, I would have said it's a lie. See, Helen, you need to think about this critically so you don't regret later. I've thought about it very well, man. I have made up my mind. I, no, I cannot carry this child alone. Why, why promise is somewhere enjoying himself? But you should, you should still think about it. No, 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 just stop. Can we just change the topic? I don't want to talk about this anymore, please. Hi, Helen. Hi. Hi, How were you able to locate my place? Um, well, I um, asked questions when I got to the place I dropped you off yesterday. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, um, did you change your mind about coming to the hospital as we discussed? Hospital? Did you already terminate the pregnancy? What? You want to terminate? Your story is quite a sad one, Helen. Now I understand why you want to terminate the pregnancy. My father has washed his hands completely of everything that concerns me. If I keep this baby, how will I complete my education? I have one year left. What, what if I promise to sponsor you? You're joking, right? No, I'm not. If that is what it would take to keep the baby, then I'm ready to do it. Why? You, you don't even know me. Well, Jesus didn't know us when he agreed to die for all of us, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't remember when I laughed like this. But you should laugh more often. It makes you more beautiful. But, no, I can't ask such a huge favor from you. You're not asking me, Helen. I, I just don't think it's fair that you don't have anyone when you're surrounded by people. Please, let me help you. Okay. Good. So now, drink up so we can go to the hospital. Your test results are out. Thank you so much, doctor. Call me Obina. I consider you a friend, not a patient. Okay? Thank you. Good evening. Papa, good evening. 
Papa, I'm greeting you. Uh -huh. What is it, Helen? Am I deaf? But you didn't answer my greeting. I did not respond because I don't want to. Papa. Papa, I'm sorry. We cannot continue like this. I need your love and counsel now. Eh? Counsel? Did you say counsel? What counsel do you need? Am I a doctor or a midwife? Get out here! Get, 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 get! Papa! Papa! Papa, what is it? Papa! Mama! Papa! 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 Please, um, take very good care of yourself, okay? And your mother, too. She's more than heartbroken. Thank you so much for coming. It's okay. I'm just being a good friend. I feel responsible for my father's death. I think, I think I... No, don't say that, okay? We are all living on borrowed time here. Once it's our time, we'll go. Your dad died because it was his time. I wish I could believe that. You have to, because it's the truth. I know my mom blames me for his death. She doesn't just want to say it to my face. Hey, Helen, remove that thought from your mind. That woman I saw in there, Loves her daughter very much. Always know how to lift my spirits. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Obina. Yeah. You are amazing. And I hope you know that. Please just call me. Bye. Take care of yourself. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry. Sometimes we run, sometimes we walk. Sometimes we smile, sometimes we sigh. But all we want is peace of mind. I was a fool for you for the first time. How did I fail for the second time? Papa's death is sudden and painful, but we have to move on. I never imagined it would happen this way. I am still in shock. Me too. It feels like a dream. I miss him so much. I miss him too. I wish he forgave me before he died. He did forgive you. He was just too proud to say it. Are you sure? Yes. Your father loved you so much, despite everything. What are we going to do? You know your father was a titled man, and his very expenses scares me so much. Mama, you don't have to worry. Obina has promised to take care of it. Your doctor friend? Yes. 
he is handling your education and wants to take care of this too? Mama, Obina is the kindest and nicest man I have ever seen. Wow. Won't it be too much for him? I asked him the same question and he, he assured me it wouldn't be a problem. What do you know about his family? Mm, he's from a family of four. His parents and sister stay in the US. He schooled there. He came back to establish a hospital. You mean he owns the hospital he works with? Yes. Wow. God bless his kind heart. Amen. So can you eat now? Hmm? Don't worry, I'll try. Don't worry, I'll feed you since you refuse to eat. Oh, please, don't worry, I'll eat. Let me eat my food. So you eat now. Thank you. Oh yeah, wash your hands. Obina, my son, thank you very much for standing by us through these difficult times. God bless you so much. Amen, Mama. I'm, Mama, God will bless you too. I thank God that the funeral ceremony was peaceful and it went well. Yeah. Oh, thanks to you. He wouldn't have done it without you. Uh, okay, mom, I think I better start going because the praises and, <laughs> and the thank yous are becoming too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mama, let me see him off. Okay. Good night, my son. Please drive carefully. <laughs> okay, Ma, I will. You're going to the hospital, right? Well, yes. My um, night shift is supposed to start in an hour. Okay. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. I lost myself for a bit. Uh -huh. Why do I feel like you want to say something but you're scared? Well, I... Uh, you didn't tell me you can read minds. Uh, so I'm right then. I'm afraid to, yes. Okay. But you know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend, remember? Yes, we are. My friends. Uh, okay. Then talk to me. What is it that... Marry me, Helen. What? Look, I, I know it's sudden, but look, I can't, I can't, I can't wait any longer. I'm helplessly in love with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you by my side, Helen. So what did you tell him? I told him to give me some time. Time to do what? To think about it. What is there to think about? Well, there's a lot to think about. Have you forgotten I'm carrying another man's child? So? I thought you said Obina promised to take care of the baby. Yes. But, you know, I... Do you still love him? Love who? Promise, of course. How can you even ask me that? After everything he did to me. I have to. Because I don't understand why you're stopping yourself from enjoying the happiness you deserve. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Look, Obina is an angel in human form. Men like that are hard to find. There's no doubt he loves you. I mean, look at how he's changed your life within the short period of meeting him. Marry him more. Thank you very much, Jen. This is exactly what I've been telling her. When a man like Obina loves you, what is there to think about? Ask me. Ask me.
Is this how you look when you're nervous? Well, I know you called me here to give me an answer. So, I can't help but be nervous. Can I ask you something? Anything. Why do you want to marry me? Most men will want nothing to do with me. Besides, what will your family say when you introduce me to them? I don't want to... Stop. Okay, stop. Look. I'm a full-grown adult. When it comes to marriage, my family cannot dictate for me. But what they can do is, at best, advise me. So will they approve of you bringing a pregnant woman home <sighs> as your fiancé? Of course. See, I already see myself as the father to him or her. Okay? And I promise, yeah, I will love and protect you and this baby with everything I have. My answer is yes. I'll marry you. Wait, are you serious? Yes. Yes! What a nice way to wake up. I know, right? You ready for work? Yes, I am. That's why I said I should wake you up. Mm. Aren't you going to the store today? Uh, today is the general sanitation at my plaza. Opening time is 10 a.m. Oh. I won't be going there today. My attendant will be in charge. Okay. Um, so, what about um, Sharon? Is she still coming back today? Yes. Oh. My mother will bring her back later. Thank God. <laughs> Honey, it's just three days. Ah, it felt like three months. I doubt that. I don't expect you to understand the bond between father and daughter. Mm, so I, I won't you. blame you. Mm. <laughs> Baby. Yeah? I'm so sorry. I couldn't wake up early to prepare breakfast. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I know how well you value your Saturday morning rest, so I decided not to wake you. Mm, what did I ever do to deserve a man like you? Uh, I should be the one asking this question. Mm. God, baby, you make my life so beautiful. I love you so much. Mm, I love you too. Have a great day at work. Of course. My day has already started good. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, where is? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel 
better sleep again. Mm. I pray it lasts this time. Before you know it now, she will appear here again. Mm. Mommy, you know her too well. You know, these few days she spent with you, hmm, I have rested. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the joys of motherhood. Mm -hmm. In a mother's a superwoman. Yeah. <sighs> Mommy, I have just one, and it's like this. Imagine when I have two or more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you can handle it. Mommy, I can't handle it, though. Please, my husband is equal to the task. He adores children. I'm um, about having more children. Any updates? Nothing yet. Why? What is really the problem? I don't know. Obina and I have been trying to... I don't like this. It doesn't sound good. You people have been married for five years now. But it's not our fault. We have gone for a series of tests and scans, and it shows there's nothing wrong with us. Besides, Obina is not worried about it, so why should I? Who told you that he's not worried? Uh, well, he has not said anything about it. So? That he is quiet doesn't mean that he's not thinking about it. Remember that he's the only son of his parents. Do you think his parents uh, have started asking questions? I bet they have. Obina may not tell you. You know he always wants to protect you. So what do I do? Let's keep praying that God answers you soon. Because we can't afford to lose a kind man like Obin. God forbid, I can't lose my husband. He loves me so much. No woman will take him away from me, never. My daughter, sometimes love is not enough. This is so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> you're welcome. Honey, with the way you're going, I'm going to have a room full of drearies. <sighs> well, I don't care. You can pass them to our children later in the future, baby. Did I say something wrong? No. Then why did your mood change? Honey, our childlessness. Oh, babe, we are not childless. Have you forgotten we have Sharon? I know. But I want to have your own children. Children who would be as kind and generous as you are. Mm, it's okay. Baby, I understand you. Okay, but you need to know that we are still young. Okay, children will come with time. Okay, but till then, we need to enjoy every passing moment of our life. Okay, thank you so much. I love you too. <laughs> so stop worrying, I don't want you worried. You know I love Silva a lot. I get some of this. Don't worry. It's for your clothes. <laughs> so that you can have options. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. so delicate be mindful of decisions you make you might never ever come back from the wrong move you made it's easy to take a step but it's hard to bear the consequences 
when you take the wrong step, the wrong step. It takes just one stupid, silly mistake to ruin everything you've worked for. It takes just one stupid, silly mistake to ruin everything you've worked for all your life. Okay, what else do we need to restock? Belts and cap. Wow, so soon? Yes, my people buy them a lot these days. Mm. All right, fine. I'll write them down. Okay, ma. So, my USA. My USA. Ma. 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 Oh, okay, I'll attend to him. Welcome, sir. Yeah. How much do you sell this? Um, 20,000. Sharon, darling, come here. You want ice cream? You want ice cream? Huh? Go inside and watch some cartoons, okay? I'll bring you ice cream very soon, okay? Okay? I'll see you soon. What is it? Jane promises back. Who is promise? You're joking, right? No, I don't know who you're talking about. My ex, Sharon's father. No. The only father Sharon has is Obina, your husband. Fine, you're right. It was a mistake. Was it? Why are we even talking about that human being? If he's back from wherever, how does that concern you? He was at my store today. Helen, you have a perfect life with Obina. Don't ruin it. Fine. Jane, calm down. We're just talking. If the topic is about your ex, I'm, I'm done talking. So what now? Jane, I can't believe you. <laughs> Babe, you know if I have new arrivals, you'll be the first to know. But you know I sell quality clothes. Come on. <laughs> Carol, can I call you back? Please. A customer just arrived. Look, before you say anything, I came here to apologize. I know I treated you wrongly and you didn't deserve that. <laughs> Best apology ever. Now, can you leave? Helen, I traveled because of you and our unborn child. Don't you ever mention my child again. Don't try it. Leave. Leave my store right now. I don't have anything to say to you. I get it, you're still angry. I mean, I'll be angry if I mean Promise. To... Get out. Leave. Don't need to scream. I'll take my leave. Get out.
Hi, Ellen. What do you think you're doing? You think following me around will get you anywhere? Can you calm down? I didn't come to see you. I came to see my daughter. Hello. Don't even think about it. What gives you the impression she's a daughter? I know she's mine. Look at her, she looks exactly like me. There's something wrong with your eyes then. Helen. What? Please wait, I want us to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Just stay away from me and my family. Helen, come on. Helen. Helen. I want us to talk. I want us to talk. Hey, baby. Hi. Oh. Mm. So how many stories did you read to her this time? Four. What? <laughs> I think we need to change those some um, story books we have. Yeah. I think she's already getting used to them. That's true. So, um, are you going back to the shop? I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe we should do something better with our time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? Is that my well, husband first? You have me all the time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello. Yes, this is Helen speaking. Um, you know what? I'll get us white now. Okay, honey. Yes, this is Helen. What? Promise? Are you crazy? Don't you ever call my number again? What is wrong with you? Maybe is there a problem? Uh, no, it's the wrong number. The person was just speaking one language like that. Uh, is that why your face is like this? <laughs> Good, honey. Do I get that all the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I forgot to get swine opener. Come in. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, have you made any sales today? Yes, ma. Should I bring the record book? Oh, no, don't worry. Okay, ma. Um, ma, sorry. Did you get any call from Mr. Daniel? Who is that? Ma, I don't know if you remember. The other day when we were checking stocks, a young man came in. He's tall. He has beard and he shaves skin. He's very cute. Right at that spot? Yes, ma. Yeah, yes, I remember him. Okay, ma. He came here yesterday asking for your number. He said he wanted you guys to discuss business. So that's how I got my number. Ma? No, I was talking to myself. Okay, ma. Um, but please, next time, don't give out my number without my permission, okay? Yes, ma. I'm sorry. Hello, promise, what is it? 
What is it? Stop calling my number. Stop it. I told you I have nothing to discuss with you. What? What the hell? I'm going to miss you so much, darling. Ah, uh, I'll miss you too. Uh, three days, right? Yes, baby, three days only, and I'm running back to you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Are you sure I should travel? Because I think this conference is not that important to babe. Hey, stop being naughty. <laughs> <laughs> baby, you can't blame me. With a kiss like that. Again. Okay. <laughs> I better start going now before I, I before I change my mind. Oh, honey, please buy me kilishi when you're coming back. Uh, no problem, baby. I'll buy you all the kilishis in Abuja. Eh? <laughs> I trust you. Yeah, but then, babe, please take good care of yourself and Sharon. All right, baby. All right, bye. Mm, have a safe trip. Yeah, you too. Enjoy yourself. Stay all safe. Right. Be good. I better get going before I miss my flight. Yes. <clears throat> Careful. I know I've asked you this question before, and I'm going to ask you again. What are you doing here? Waiting to pick up my daughter. Which daughter? Sharon, of course. <laughs> I can't remember telling you Sharon is your daughter. Don't play games with me. I know Sharon is mine. I'm not blind. In your dreams, maybe. Look. Don't touch me. Look me in the eyes and tell me that Sharon is not mine. Getting a woman pregnant does not make you a father. Fatherhood goes deeper than that. I know, I know. That's why I want you to let me know her. Allow me to know my daughter. I can change things. Oh, Sharon knows who her father is. And you are not her father. We'll see about that. Good luck to you then. I'm going to tell the school that you are a threat to my daughter. I can't have you locking around here every time. And why would you do that? Don't I have the right to see my daughter You again? are very crazy for saying that. Don't you ever talk to me like that. What, what is wrong with you? You have the gods, you have the F1 tree to talk to me after everything you did to me. Look, 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 I'm sorry. That was in the past. I'm a better... Save, save it. Save your pathetic story. I'm not ready to listen to your rubbish. I can't believe you just said that. Don't let him anywhere near Sharon. Jin, what was I supposed to do? He keeps following me around. Tell your husband. What? Yes. Tell him. After all, he knows all about this whole um, promise story. How can I tell him promise wants access to Sharon? It will break him, considering the fact that I have not given him a child of his own. I blame you for all this, Helen. Me? How? Why did you tell him Sharon was his daughter? You should have just told him you got rid of the pregnancy. What? That would be a lie. So? Promise does not deserve anything from you, let alone the truth. Jane, there's a way he, he asked the question. It was impossible to lie. 
How did he ask? Well, it doesn't matter right now. I don't know what to do. You just have to tell me what to do. He keeps calling me. First, block his number. Second, talk to Obina. Don't wait until he gets back from his trip. I don't trust that stupid ex of yours, so you have to act fast. Okay. I will, I will tell my husband tonight. Good. <laughs> this whole thing might lead to a custody battle, but we need to be ready. You think so? We can't rule out anything. But I promise we definitely lose. No judge will show him mercy after they hear how badly he treated you. This whole thing is so confusing. There's no confusion here, Helen. Just listen to my advice and everything will be well. The sooner Obina hears of it, the better for all of us. Ooh, 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 that's too much in your mouth. Mm hmm Okay. <clears throat> Baby, sit down here. Hold on. Hi, Helen. I know you're wondering how I got your address. Well, you know me. I always have a way of getting what I want. Get out of my house. Not even water or a drink. Leave my house. You have no right to- Helen, please. Don't deny me the joy of cradling my daughter in my arms. If I've never asked you for something before, just do this for me, please. I can't. Helen, yes, you can. Allow me to know my child. Please. Are you insane? Helen, please. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? This is my husband's house. Please. Do you want someone to see you? Oh, get up, get up, get up. Get up, it's fine. Stand up, it's fine. Come in. It's yours. Hey. Helen. Baby, come, 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 let me continue. Feeding you. This is not a good idea. I've changed my mind. I don't think we're going anymore. Okay, take you. Good girl. Good girl. Be careful. <laughs> she definitely loves ice cream. <laughs> Every child does. That's not true. My neighbor's child in the years. She hates it. Is that where you went to? America? Look. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's too late for that, don't you think? I do, but I think you should hear me out first. I'm listening. Left for the years because of us. <laughs> Lie again. I'm serious. In that case, why didn't you tell me? Why did you leave me in the dark? Because if I told you, I wouldn't have made the trip. If I had seen the look in your eyes right now, I wouldn't have moved an inch. I have to go. Please. No. I'm a married woman. 
I shouldn't be doing this. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I have to go, please. Baby, Come let's on. go. Come on, I have to go, okay? Helen. <gasps> My daughter. Helen. 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 What rubbish! Stop it, Jane. You have said enough. No, I have not. I didn't think you were the type to go back to her vomit. I am not. Then what are you still doing, promise? Why are you still hanging out with him? He's hanging out with Sharon, not me. If Obina was here, would this be happening? He just wants to see Sharon. Oh, is that what you tell yourself to feel good? Wake up, Helen. It's obvious he wants you back. But you know that's not possible. Well, you're already hanging out with him. Who knows what will happen next? I don't know, Jane. Obina is the best thing that has happened to me. But I keep getting drawn to promise. It's not abnormal, Helen. Once upon a time, you were insanely in love with promise. You need to keep your distance from him and you need to do it fast. Like you said, Obina is the best thing that has ever happened to you. You wouldn't want to lose him, right? Of course not. Is he still coming tomorrow? No. A friend of his needs his consult. Okay. He'll be coming back in a few days. That's good then. You have enough time to kill this promise issue. It's fine. Um, do you need something to eat or drink? A drink will be fine. Come on, I'll get you something soft. Ha! Look at you! <laughs> Yes. How many pieces does he want? For how much each? 25,000. Yeah. Okay, package it. Package it now, immediately. Hey, Mom. You want something? What is this I hear about you and Promise? How did you... Jane, right? Yes. Jane, what is wrong with you? Didn't she tell you there's nothing going on between I Promise and I? It. Mommy, I... Tell me. Everything that happened between you and Promise is still fresh in my memory. You loved that idiot too much. Do you know I still remember how you would cry all night oh, because please, of him? Please, I beg you, don't take me down memory lane. Maybe I should. Because I don't understand why you want him back in your life. I need answers. I need to know why he treated me the way he did, when all I did was love him. And what would you do with that information? Helen, look around you. God has blessed you and I've given you every single thing you need. I know. Do you? Then why do you want to ruin your life all because of a man who abandoned you when you needed him the most? You're right. I thought I have gotten over the whole thing. But seeing him brought back a lot of memories. Helen. Forget about him. Nothing good will ever come out of promise. Obina is your husband. Please focus on him. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry. Sometimes we run, sometimes we walk. Sometimes we smile, sometimes we sigh. But all we want is peace of mind. I was a fool for you for the first time. How did I fail for the second time? Whoa. I was blinded by emotions the first time. How did I fail for the second time? It's 
Hi, promise. I'm fine. How are you doing? Tomorrow? Okay, I'll be there. All right, good night. So, how come a newcomer like me knows this place and you don't? Well, I hardly go out. I'm more of a home girl. Still an introvert? I thought marriage would have changed you. Your husband, is he also an introvert? No, he's not. Did you invite me here to talk about my marriage? Um. Actually, um, no. Then what is it? I know this might sound crazy, but I need to let it off my chest. Promise. What is it? Helen. I still love you. Do you know how heartbroken I felt? When I came back and I found out that you were married. Promise. I will. Please. Please let me finish. I left for the US. For you and our unborn child. How was I supposed to know? You didn't even call me. Do you know what I went through because of you? You didn't even give me any closure. I went through hell because of you. Look. Look. I'm actually sorry. I wish I could take things back. I would have done things differently. Oh, well, it's too late because I've moved on. I think you should do the same. That's the problem, Helen. I cannot move on without you. You are my future. Promise, what are you saying? I want you back. You, Sharon, and I, one big family. You and I know you want me to. I have to go. I have to go pick up my daughter. Now? It's not even 2 p.m. yet. Don't. Helen, Helen, please don't go. What? Leave me alone. I don't want to ever see you again. You are a distraction. You ruined my life once. And I'll be a fool to let you do that again. Helen. Helen, please don't go. Helen. Shit. <sighs> okay, um, you just package this, this. Yes, sir. Um, give it to the delivery guy and make sure you write down all the sheds you've sold. Yes, ma. Write it down so that I can restock. Okay. And again, um, Mrs. Mrs. Doris, did she come here yesterday? No, ma, she didn't come here. And she said she was going to take the red shirt now, the one she bought for her husband. 
we should come today. Okay. To Hi, okay, best just... friend. What are you doing? I'm looking for who you're referring to as best friend. What kind of joke is this? No, you're the joke here. So I told you something in confidence. You ran to my mom to tell her everything. I didn't tell her everything. I only... Oh, please. You had no right. If I wanted her to know, I would have told her myself. Fine. I'm sorry. Whatever. I came here to talk to you. So? So I should leave my daughter in school and talk to you? Yeah, that's true. Can I come with you? We can talk on our way. I don't want to talk to you right now. Please. you so much. Welcome back. So, uh, where's my baby girl? She went to school. Oh. No problem. <laughs> I will get my welcome back kiss when she comes back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you alright? <laughs> Yes, I'm just emotional these days. <laughs> Sorry. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, come on, stop, baby. I'm not pregnant. I thought I was a doctor here. <laughs> wow. I've missed you, darling. My bag. Let me help you. your thoughts. Uh, don't mind me. I was thinking our marriage would be six years soon. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I was thinking it's six months. You're joking, right? No, baby. You see, What I feel for you is still as strong as it was six years ago. I don't deserve you, Obi. Hmm. Where is that coming from? You know, each time I think about my past, I... Baby, stop. Stop, okay? Listen. We have a great future ahead of us. Let's stay focused on that, okay? Okay. I love you too much. I love you too. So now, am I going to get my welcome back treat or what? What's that? What's what? Stop. Stop <laughs> what? You know how well I was thinking about it. <laughs> Stop it! Stay this way. Turn it this way, not this way. Good, good. You, you're, you're driving very well, wow. Turn it this way. Good. You see, that's fine. Good. Going out? Yes. 
My mother called. Oh, that's unlike her. Is everything okay? You know my mother, she loves attention. Let me give it to her. <laughs> okay, um, just make sure you come back early, okay? Okay, honey. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye, honey. All right, bye. Bye-bye. My regards to your mom, okay? okay All right. Bye. 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 Say bye, mommy. Bye, mommy. Thanks for coming. You have 15 minutes. I have a family to get back to. You don't want um, any drink or food I could get them for you? I'm fine. I don't need anything. I see you've made a decision. I didn't realize there's any decision to make. Look, Helen. We can leave this country. I mean, by God's grace, I'm very okay where I am. Stop it! What do you think? That you wave a white flag and I'll pack up and follow you to the end of the earth? Look, Helen, I still love you. <laughs> and I know you do too. Look, I came here out of courtesy. This is the last time we're going to meet, okay? I see you've made your decision. I guess so. I respect that. Fine. Thank you. And I'm sure you're going to find someone soon. We'll see about that. Um, what about my daughter? What about your daughter? Can't I see her again? <laughs> well, I'll have to... Consult my husband first. Well, um, can you follow me upstairs? Um, I got something for Sharon. I wanted to give you the last time that we met, but you were in a hurry. You can bring it down here. I'm waiting. Come on. Don't be silly. You know I won't force you to do whatever you don't want to do. Remember, just like you said, this is our last time. Can we just act like friends? Still not reachable. Sharon. Sharon. Yes, all is well. I tried to call you on the phone, but your number isn't reachable. Ah, my phone went off since yesterday. The battery is bad. Okay, I, I thought as much. So, what of Helen? Where is she? Helen? Oh, yes, she was here, but she didn't stay for long. She said she had to rush back home to cook. Oh, all is well. You look worried. Um... Helen has not come home since then. And um, I've been trying to call her on the phone, but her two numbers are not connecting. They are switched off. This is strange. Um, have you tried calling Jen? She may know where she is. Uh, that's true. Uh, I wonder why I didn't think of that.
Is it ringing? Yeah. Yeah, hello. Jane, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, um, yeah, please, hold on a second. Um, have you seen Helen today? Seriously? Okay, I'll call you back. All right. Yeah, bye. What did she say? You have not spoken for days. My goodness. Oh, God, please protect my child. If anything should happen to Helen, I mean... Um, Mom, it's okay. Calm down, please, okay? I'm sure there's an explanation to this. Yeah, um, can, can Sharon stay with you? She's in the car. Of course. Okay. Okay, I'll bring her. And I'll let you know if anything comes up, eh? Okay. All right. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Why? What? What, what? what is she doing there? All right, all right, all right. I'll be on my way there now. I'm coming. Police station. Him, I swear. Why would I believe anything you say? You know, sitting here, I I just realized that I I never really knew the real you. <laughs> Honey, there is a mix-up. A mix-up? Yes. What are you doing in this hotel room? I just went there to collect some gifts for Sharon. you for years with an unborn child then all of a sudden he's in town and then you you go to his room to collect gifts I know it's a crazy thing to do I am so sorry I'm sorry was I not a good husband to you was I was I not a good father to Sharon? You were, baby, you are. All I did was love and protect you. Why? Why did you break my heart like this, Helen? Why? 
Honey, I just went there. I I didn't I didn't sleep with promise. I just I just went there as a friend. Why did you tell me he was in town? Why? If truly you're innocent, why were you sneaking around? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I if truly you're innocent, then I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. But mind you, I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for Sharon. When all this is over, I never want to see your face again. Please, I beg you, please. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. Honey, please, I'm so sorry I didn't do it. Hi. You now drink? Can you at least let me in, please? What are you doing here? I came to see how you're doing. Well, as you can see, I'm doing fantastic. No, you're not. If you say so. How about Sharon? She's at her grandmother's. I went to the police station earlier. I was told that Helen has to remain in custody until the full autopsy results are out. Um, I learned he might have died of a cardiac arrest. Well, now we know your friend is just an adulterer and not a murderer. Hmm. Obina, but alcohol is not the answer. Did you know? Did I know what? Did you know she was sleeping with her ex? I didn't know if they were sleeping with each other. But I do know they were talking. Wow. I guess I was the only one that was blind then. It wasn't our place to tell you, Obina. Please understand. We could only advise her. We. Oui. Who else knew? I told her mother. Wow. <laughs> I guess I've been a fool all this while, eh? No, Obina, please. Don't do that, please. Please, I want to be alone. Obina! Oh, please, get out. Sobina, I thought you said he was coming with you. Yes, he was here, but he left after paying the bill money.
How did I fail for the second time? Whoa. I was blinded by emotions the first time. How did I fail for the second time? It's unbelievable. You're the only one I wish I could forget. But how could you still live inside of me? It's heartbreaking. It takes just one stupid, silly mistake to change everything you've worked for. It takes just one stupid, silly mistake to change everything you've worked for all your life. All your life. All your life. All your life. Just one silly mistake. Oh, 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 life is so delicate. Be mindful of decisions you make. You might never ever come back from the wrong move you made. It's easy to take a step, but it's hard to bear the consequences. When you take the wrong step, the wrong step, it takes just one stupid, silly mistake to ruin everything you've worked for. It takes just one stupid, silly mistake to ruin everything you've worked for all your life, all your life. even sleep at night. I miss Obina so much. I'm so sorry, Helen. I wish there was something I could do to help you. Please, stop. You've cried enough. <laughs> the crazy part is that I'm pregnant. For real? This is what I've been praying for. Yes. Is it for Obina? What sort of question is that? I'm, I'm sorry, that didn't come out well. Jane, how many times did I tell you I didn't sleep with promise? I, look, you have to tell him. How would that even come out when my best friend don't even believe me? Forget about me, Helen. He has to know. I mean, who knows? He may change his mind. I don't want... I don't want him to take me back out of pity. Besides, he has moved on. Yes. <laughs> please, please stop so crying. Much. Stop crying. I want to die. No, just stop. Please. <laughs> Please, please stop crying. Please stop.
You're not saying anything about the food. Babe. Hmm? You're not saying anything about the food. Oh. It's actually very delicious. Exactly the same way Helen would um do. No, continue. I'm used to that already. I'm sorry. I don't know why her name keeps coming up. I know why. You still love her, right? No, no I don't. Obina, lying to yourself will not change anything. I'm not lying to myself. Obina, you are lying to yourself and you know it. Look, Lucy, I... Uh... You need to figure out what you want, Obina. Because I cannot be with a man who, who, who is still thinking about his ex all the time. Huh? I want you on nothing. You know what? You're right. Look, I'm going to work on myself. I promise. You better do that. When you're done sorting out your problems, you can call me. Come and sit. No. Um, where is Sharon? I came to pick her up. Oh, she went for an excursion with her school. Huh. Okay. I tried to call your mom, but her, she didn't pick. Why didn't you call me? You know, I am. I should probably be on my way, right? Obi, <coughs> Obi, I didn't sleep with promise. You have to believe me. Well, I don't believe you, and I never will. I swear with my father's grave. Shh. Let the dead rest in peace. Sometimes we smile, sometimes we sigh, but all we want is peace of mind. I was a fool for you for the first time. How did I fail for the second time? Whoa. I was blinded by emotions the first time. How did I fail for the second time? It's unbelievable You're the only one I wish I could forget But how could you still live inside of me? It's heartbreaking It takes just one stupid silly mistake To change everything you've worked for It takes just one stupid silly mistake Hi. Obina. Do you want to come in? No. Um, uh, let's just talk. Okay. I've missed you. From the very first moment I set my eyes on you, Helen, I fell in love with you. There was just something about you that captured my heart. Even after what you did, I, I still love you. I tried to stop loving you. Trust me, I did, but 
I still love you. So. Yeah, yeah. I love you so much, Obi. The truth is, I did not sleep with promise. I just, I just went to him for closure. I would never jeopardize whatever I have with you. I, I just thought I could handle it. That was why I didn't tell you. You, you never keep secrets from your spouse, no matter what. I know, and I've learned. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, no, no, stop. Come on. Forgive me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I forgive you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too. So, where is Sharon? I don't know. Maybe she's sleeping and she's just inside. There's another thing, baby. What? What is it? Pregnant. For for real? Yes. <laughs> Wait. We're having a baby. Yes. Wow, come <laughs> God, I love you so much. I love you too, baby. I love you so I much. I love you so much. I missed you. I missed you too. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry Sometimes we run, sometimes we walk Sometimes we smile, sometimes we sigh But all we want is peace of mind I was a fool for you for the first time How did I fail for the second time? Oh, I was blinded by emotions the first time How did I fail for the second time? It's unbelievable You're the only one I wish I could forget But how could you still live inside of me? It's heartbreaking it takes just one stupid silly mistake To change everything you've worked for It takes just one stupid silly mistake To change everything you've worked for All your life All your life All your life All your life just one silly mistake 